Welcome back to problem 6, the sum square difference. In this problem we are asked to find the sum of the squares and the sum of the natural numbers uh, squared, right? And uh, we need to find the difference between these, these uh, sums. So we have the sum of the natural numbers up to n, then we square the sum, we get this answer, so this is an example for n is equal to 10, the limit is equal to 10, and here we have an example of uh, each number squared, and uh, we get this answer, and when we subtract this, this from this, we get uh, this answer here. But now, th uh, this was an example for 10, we are asked to do it for 100, so the 100 natural numbers. Okay, uh, that should be pretty easy, right? So we just simply uh, write the sum, so we say, so if you noticed here, so the second one is larger than the first one, so you need to compute this one first. So I'm going to show you a, a more uh, uh, advanced approach, but this is a very simple one, very, uh, a very obvious one. So we have uh, 1 up to 100, uh, so this is the sum, and we simply square it, and then we say the difference, let's put it in, and this is this is an expression, so I say sum 100, and here we map it by a block, so I simply square each number. Um, okay, so if you execute this, we simply get the answer here. So this is the answer. Alright, so this is correct, very fast, uh, very simple, but there is another way. So this here, this sum here, is the sum uh, of is the and tri triangular number so if you know the formula for this is simply n times n plus 1 divided by 2 so let's say so var n is equal to uh, 100 so you simply say this so if you say this uh, let's execute this the, we get that and this is equivalent with uh, simply summing all this range and so you get the same, an the same answer so this is a shortcut formula for that Right. Um, the formula for the second power, uh, I don't remember it, but it's the foul Haber formula. So we have in CF uh, a function like named foul Haber sum, which is 100 and uh, squared. So if you say foul. Okay, yeah, so th this is equivalent with uh, sum 1 to 100 each, each number squared. Uh, these are exactly equivalent. So simplifying the problem, simplifying the problem, we say, so n is equal to 100, so we say power Haber, so it even works when n is 1, so the power is 1, so we say n and the power is 1, um, we square this and we say minus all Haber sum n and the power is 2 for each uh, for each natural number and we get the same the same answer yeah so this is uh, this is what how the problem simplifies so this is the Paul Haber sum we can see we can search this on Wikipedia the Paul Haber formula and uh, it's a very efficient uh, a very efficient summation so it basically it's linear in in p in the power so when p is 2 so it basically does only a few comp calculations to get the answer right so n can be a very 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 large here you can have and this large and you get the answer in uh, one millisecond or so right so that's very fast it's a very efficient formula so we can even scale it up to 5, I think, right? So let's say put here 4 and there is 5. So it still scales, but when this n is, when this p is uh, very, very large, so when, it's, when p is uh, 1 million or, uh, or so, that then will become extremely slow. But for, for small powers, it's very, very efficient. Yeah, so that this was that's it for this one. Uh, very easy, very obvious, nothing too special here. So, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.